Hi, Test Complete community, and welcome to another great session for the Test Complete Community Day 2021. Our next session will be on working with Test Complete and Cucumber Studio and how they can tie in together. And our next speaker is Sergey Samal, and um, he works in the development team actually. But nevertheless, I, we, we thought that it would be a good fit to talk about this particular uh, duo of products, Test Complete and Cucumber Studio. Um, so, hi, Sergey. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm really good. Thank you for asking. Um, so, could you introduce yourself? What is your role at SmartBear? Currently, I'm working as development manager at uh, SmartBear License Management mm -hmm. Project. Okay, and uh, so what is your job? What do you do, actually? Uh, we are working to create a new license management for uh, SmartBear desktop products. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, so what is your favorite part of your job? What do you like to do the most? I, I think I believe um, I like to, to plan job ahead and, uh, you know, get the work done by the time. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is most interesting uh, part. And of course, we like uh, we like both sides of the process, both developing and testing. Mm -hmm. And actually, maybe and talking with customers, everything uh, is pretty exciting. So, uh, I like the work in general. <laughs> <laughs> you like work in general. This is such a great answer. Uh, I like to get work done. This is like, that should be my motto and the motto of everyone in SmartBear. Uh, cool. And my last question is, how long have you been with SmartBear? Uh, it's a hard question. I think about maybe 15 years. Mm -hmm. So I worked, uh, I first started as test complete developer. Um, then I moved to from role to role. And uh, right now uh, I'm still working with uh, in tight contact with test complete team, but you know, in other smart new products, I have several actually, several, yeah, during past years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good to know. Uh, let's, let's move on to the actual session, I think. Yeah. Today we will talk about BDD approach and testing using SmartBear tools, Cucumber Studio and Test Complete. During today's demonstration, I will reveal some details about testing of our own SmartBear products using this approach. So in our flow, we are using three tools. Cucumber Studio is used as a central BDD test storage and reporting tool. Test Complete with Cucumber Studio integration is used as automation tool. And we are also using Jenkins with Test Complete support plugin in it. Jenkins is used for test orchestration and environment management. So why we choose BDD approach? The main reason was complexity. Test complexity is growing all the time. From the very beginning, you have a very small test set. And while you add in new functionality to your application, your test set is also growing. And at some point, you will have a huge test set, which is hard to analyze, to improve and to maintain. And exactly at that moment, we decided to start using BDD. Why BDD helps? Because BDD makes it easier to understand the test flows, easier to add new tests, because you already have a variety of features, uh, test steps, you can just combine them into new tests, and easy to analyze test result. Basically, everyone can understand your test results. Let's continue with tools we are using. Fortunately, we are working at SmartBear, so we have access to best testing tools. On this slide, we see a Cucumber Studio. So on the first picture, you will see a typical test scenario created in Cucumber Studio. As you can see, this test is easy to read and analyze. On the second picture, we will see test execution results, which again is very easy to analyze. You don't need to be a real developer to understand that there is some problem on a step when user 
creates his account in our system. On the next slide, let's summarize what benefits Cucumber Studio provides us in our testing process. First of all, we are using it as a central storage for features, test scenarios and test run results for our process. We have great teamwork experience with Cucumber Studio. It's easy to collaborate for QA engineers when they create testing scenarios and also it's very easy for product manager to analyze test results in the end. It also has integration with GitHub. You can easily obtain your test scenarios from GitHub and insert it into BDD project. Also Cucumber Studio integrates with different testing frameworks and tools. Let's continue with another Smart Bear tool we are using. It's Test Complete. Test Complete is used as automation part of our flow. On the first picture of this slide, you can see imported scenario from Cucumber Studio. Test Complete can automatically synchronize its uh, BDD scenarios with Cucumber Studio project. On the next picture you can see high-level BDD implementation in Test Complete, which is again pretty straightforward. To automate BDD scenarios on Test Complete site, you don't need to write too much code. It's just specific scripting constructions. Each of these constructions represents just one test step in BDD scenario. Let's highlight some benefits which we have using SmartBear Test Complete. First of all, Test Complete supports web, mobile, desktop applications, which means you don't need to have different tools to test your applications on different platforms. Test Complete also supports multiple scripting languages, so you will definitely find something for you and your team. Also, Test Complete has built in BDD support. Uh, and also, of course, integration with Cucumber Studio, which we are using in this demonstration, and of course, integration with other Smart BR tools. One thing to mention that Test Complete is feature rich, so you definitely will find something helpful for your project in it. And now let's start combining Smart BR tools together. On this slide, you will see how a test automation process is made. First of all, test run is created in Cucumber Studio. Then test complete synchronizes the project BDD scenarios with Cucumber project. And finally, test complete plays the whole project and upload results step by step to Cucumber Studio. When results are ported back to Cucumber Studio, you don't need to understand scripts or test internals to analyze test results. And now let's take a look how test orchestration process is made. Jenkins with Test Complete plugin controls the whole process. Starts test run in Cucumber Studio. Load source code from GitHub for Test Complete. Starts Test Complete with automation test set on the cloud agent. This is done by Test Complete plugin for Jenkins. Also, Jenkins can help you to perform various actions in your testing scenarios. Now let's dig into the details. We will see all the products we are using. Also, I will show you some settings which needs to be set to achieve our flow. Okay, let's take a look. First of all, let's take a look on Cucumber Studio UI. Here I have created Test Complete Demo project. This project contains tests on login functionality. So let's see what tests we have. So we have four scenarios covering different aspects of login functionality. This functionality is presented in any modern application, I believe. We have four scenarios here. Each scenario contains steps. To start a run, you need to go to Test Runs section and create a new test run there. Every test run contains results of each scenario 
and each test step in this scenario. And I think that's it for Cucumber Studio. In our flow, you don't need to set up specific settings in it, because all settings are set on test complete side and Jenkins side. And now let's switch to test complete. In test complete, you need to implement your BDD steps in the scenarios. So the first thing you need to make on test complete is to be in test complete project to Cucumber Studio project. To perform it, you need to open project settings editor, then go to properties, select Cucumber Studio and click bin to Cucumber Studio. I have test complete community demo project here, so I just need to select it. Okay, just click OK. Test complete starts to importing Cucumber Studio definitions. So these definitions are here, and when you will make implementation, you will be able to run your tests. After you have finished create an automation for BDD scenarios on test complete site. Let's try to run everything. Okay, let's run test complete project and take a look on the results. First of all, let's switch to Cucumber Studio UI. Okay, here we need to create a new test run. Let's call it login demo. Ok, we can see that test run is created. It contains just one test in it. I have stricted test suite for demonstration purposes. Ok, let's run everything on test complete side. As you can see, test complete synchronizes BDD scenarios with Cucumber Studio at the beginning of the run. Ok, we see that test complete have finished playing tests. Test results are green, it means that everything have passed successfully. Let's switch to Cucumber Studio UI. As we can see, test complete automatically passed the results to Cucumber Studio and we can see the results of test run here as well. And now let's continue with the orchestration part of our demonstration. Now we are in Cucumber Studio UI. There are no test runs here. So right now let's switch to our Jenkins. This is our Jenkins used for testing purposes. I have created special job here called login test suite. This job performs everything that I explained before. It obtains source code from GitHub of our tests. It creates new test run in Cucumber Studio, runs a test complete playback, and finally it waits for process will be finished. So to demonstrate everything, let's just start this job. Let's go inside. Okay. Now we need to click build with parameters. Here we have only one parameter, date. It will be used as part of the name of the test results in Cucumber Studio. So let's start the job. Actual test run will take place on Cloud Jenkins agent machine, where test complete is also located. Run will be started using test complete support plugin for Jenkins. Ok, right now job is started and we can switch to Cucumber Studio UI and take a look how results will be applied there. As you can see, run is already created in Cucumber Studio as well. 
So right now we just need to wait for the results. Since our tests uh, take some time usually, we will increase speed of playback from here. We will see how passed tests number is growing and we'll be back on normal speed when our playback will be over. Ok, we see that playback have finished. We see that test run was successful. All statuses are green. Here you can see detailed stats of your test run. And now let's take a look on Jenkins. Our Jenkins job also has green status. This means that everything is ok. So. That's all how it works for us, pretty easily, you just need to click the button and get the results. I hope now you can use similar setup in your own testing process. It was Sergey Samuel from Smart Beer and thanks for watching.